The Rebels were facing a Wyoming team who haven't played in the past three weeks. Their last two games were canceled due to COVID-19, so they were expecting to see maybe a little rust from the Cowboys tonight, but there were no rust from the Wyoming Cowboys. These guys came out really strong, and then again, UNLV dealing with a limited roster this week at practice due to COVID-19 and their contact tracing. They were out a lot of guys tonight, 12 true freshmen been playing in this game seven walk on so a lot of young new faces on this rebels team playing tonight as they were dealing with roster issues this week due to COVID-19 so once again the rebels still learning still growing through this season let's check out the highlights well, the Cowboys didn't look like they haven't played a game in three weeks. Xavier Valade, sheesh, finds a hole and he gone 78 yards to the house. Wyoming up 7-0 to zero real quick. Second quarter, third and 10 at the 15. Wyoming's redshirt freshman quarterback Levi Williams slips away from Adam Plant Jr. 15 yards to the end zone, his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Hey, but Williams is just warming up here. We'll see him in the end zone a lot tonight. But the Rebels respond first and goal at the two. Gillum decides to take it in himself. The Rebels close out the half with a touchdown 17 to 7 at the half. But it was all Wyoming in the third quarter. 21 unanswered points for Wyoming as they close out the third quarter, 38 to 7. Fourth quarter, Cowboys third and two at the 19. Brett Brenton, 19 yards to the house. It's 45 to 7 Wyoming. Later in the fourth, Brumfield, the freshman, would close out the game with his first career touchdown for the Rebels. UNLV's first fourth quarter score this season. How about that? And that would do it at Allegiant Stadium. Here's the latest on the quarterbacks from Coach Arroyo. We're observing everybody, and uh, I thought he did a nice job. You know, 100 yards, only eight pass completions. He's got some things he wants to clean up for sure, but did a nice job. Um, Justin was, uh, Justin was uh, on the call as well, but uh, was a little bit off this week in regards to health. Um, and so it was, uh, it was Max and, and, and uh, Doug that took most of the reps. And so uh, those guys did a, you know, thought Doug did a nice job stepping up as a fresh, true freshman. Well, kind of a surprise tonight at Allegiant Stadium to see the freshman Brumfield out there. But like Arroyo said, he's still evaluating all the quarterbacks uh, right now, including Kenyon Oblad, who we haven't seen this season. So he still says, you know, Gillum, Rogers, Brumfield, and Oblad are still competing for that quarterback spot. But of course, we haven't seen Oblad this season. So the Rebels have another home game next Friday here at Allegiant Stadium against Boise State. That will be uh, a 6:30 kickoff and then they wrap up the season in Hawaii. Now their game against Colorado State isn't officially canceled by the Mountain West yet, so they they still could play Colorado State sometime in December, so we'll have to see how that ends up going, but another home game here next Friday against Boise State as the Rebels are now 0 and 5 this season. John? Well, you, you spelled out the rest of the season, so I guess that Colorado State game might be their best chance to, to, to lock in a win for the season, right? Yeah, some Rebels fans would say that. Boise State and Hawaii are both really good football teams, and those are the two games left on their schedule. Uh, Colorado State, you know, for fans looking at that game, that could be their best shot for a win this season. But the Rebels could very well not have any wins this season. Uh, they could have a winless season with head coach Arroyo this year, uh, but they still have two more shots. And something about this Rebels team, though, they, they don't look at the scoreboard. They continue to compete, continue to fight. And that's something Arroyo has really been preaching this season is like, no matter what the score is, no matter what the scoreboard says, these guys come out and fight each drive, each play. So that's definitely hopeful to see uh, next year with Arroyo's recruiting class that he brings in, that fight that they continue to have. Well, even a strong program can be beaten, so we'll just have to see what happens. But thank you, Paloma, again.